A while ago, I posted a video where I demonstrated in great detail how to automatically control a treadmill motor with a CNC breakout board. Today, I will demonstrate an inexpensive project that I put together to set the RPM of a treadmill motor at five preset speeds. In this project, I used the same homemade circuit board that I used before, a single push button, an Arduino board, a hall sensor, and an OLED display. Again, I urge you to be careful when working with treadmill motor controls. Be sure you know what you're doing before attempting anything in this video. My method can be used to set the motor RPM of a lathe, milling machine, drill press, bandsaw, or any other machine that is powered by a treadmill motor. The RPM of the treadmill motor is preset in the Arduino sketch. It can be modified easily for different applications. A debounce feature in the sketch helps to prevent unwanted speed changes. After pressing and holding the push button for one to two seconds, the motor speed increases. After pressing and holding the push button five times, the motor stops on the sixth press of the push button. I added a software stop button to allow me to stop the motor at any time. As a safety precaution, please note that I do not rely on the software stop. I unplug the power cord to prevent shock or injury when working on the motor or its controller. A sketch uploaded to the Arduino is the brains of the operation. When the go push button is pressed and held for a count of one Mississippi, the Arduino produces a PWM signal at pin three. The width of the duty cycle is determined by a preset value in the sketch. This PWM signal is applied to the analog converter circuit's optical isolator. Light is emitted from its LED, striking the base of a transistor, allowing a bit of current to flow through its transistor. This small increase in current flow allows voltage to increase at the white terminal of the treadmill controller. The treadmill motor controller responds by allowing a suitable increase in voltage and current to the DC motor armature, creating a magnetic field in its windings, rotating the motor shaft. Increasing or decreasing the duty cycle of the PWM results in an increase and decrease in motor speed. Pressing the stop button or pressing the go button six times causes the Arduino to stop producing a PWM signal stopping the motor. A Hall sensor is used to measure the RPM of the motor shaft. The OLED display indicates the motor RPM, a preset of zero when the motor is at rest, and one asterisk for each preset level. My sketch is a combination of two sketches converted to work with an OLED display and a few minor changes to suit my needs. The incremental speed control part of the sketch is derived from an excellent sketch created by eTech Tom. His sketch can be used to incrementally control the speed of a DC motor. The tachometer part of the sketch is derived from another excellent sketch created by Interlink Knight. Beginning with line 163, analog right, motor 50. 50 is a value between 0 and 255 
that can be changed to decrease or increase the first preset speed. Originally the value was 110, but I lowered it to 50 for a lower first preset speed. The original values were 110, 150, 180, 200, and 255. In line 167, display print line asterisk can be changed to print something else on the display, such as low, first, uno, one, hashtag one, etc. Overall, the treadmill incremental speed controller works the way I hoped it would. The tachometer is reliable and very accurate. My thanks to eTech Tom and Interlink Knight for their excellent sketches. I hope that you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Please give me a like and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.